doing here? What the hell is going on? I was sent to get you for a reason. Open the door! Don't worry. He's not allowed to touch you. I've never seen a case like this before. 23 identities live in Kevin's body. Movie month. It is my fourth annual movie month. I'll watch 30 movies that I've never seen in 30 days. Ding, 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 ding. Guess who's back? Ding, 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 back again. Woo! You know, that the song uh, actually has two meanings here because I'm back. It's me, Mikey C. from Geek Mentality, and it's the first actual day of Fans Not Experts Movie Month, FNE Movie Month, the fourth year in a row I'm doing this, and here we are, June 1st, it's actually a beautiful day out, I have the day off, and I sat down and watched the 2017 horror thriller from M. Night Shyamalan, Split. Okay. I also want to say, I'm not the only one who's back. M. Night Shyamalan is back. Last year, I did uh, one of his movies, The Visit. Really enjoyed it. Uh, actually, the first year I did this, I did a movie that he, he wrote or he wrote the story for, which was the elevator movie, Devil. It was okay, but I like him doing these smaller movies. He's back. This is awesome. This movie was, I really enjoyed it. Very tense. The only thing that I didn't like was that there is a surprise at the end um, that I was pretty much spoiled on. I didn't know exactly how they'd do it, but I was pretty spoiled on, and I don't want to go into it. I don't want to give it away um, because it it has repercussions for future movies. And uh, I would like you, I, I suggest that you see this movie right now. Right now. Stop what you're doing. Put your phone down, put your put your transistor radio down, whatever you're listening to, and go rent this movie. Honestly, I got it on Google Movies for a buck fifty. I mean, that was the HD version. I didn't pay anything because I had credit. A buck fifty for this movie, and it was great. So James McAvoy, uh, to me, I think he was in that movie where bullets curved, um, and he was with Angelina Jolie, and they were hitmen. I don't remember what the movie was. It was based on a comic book. It wasn't all that good. But he's more known, because I'll see him again this month, for playing uh, Dr. X, Xavier, uh, in the new X-Men movies, The Days of Future Past, um, The Apocalypse, which, again, 30 days, and, um, of course, First Class. All, all three of those are or will be uh, movie month movies. So he's a, he plays you know uh, the the young Patrick Stewart in these movies, um, and this time he's completely you know he's playing basically a bunch of different characters because he's a guy with split personalities inside him. Uh, one of them is like this creepy woman. One of them is this little like nine year old kid. One of them is this like artsy fartsy um, kind of like uh, guy into fashion. Another guy is this just like really cold, collected, um, like guy with OCD, deep voice, just kind of real rigid. And um, if you've seen the trailers or if you watch the trailer on my website or seen anything about this, you, you, you know, he, he kidnaps these three girls pretty randomly, really, and um, it just hides them in an underground bunker. Uh, w because they are being used, they're there for a reason. He didn't just, he randomly kidnapped them, but the, he has them for a reason. He has them to, uh, for some sort of ritual. I don't want to say too much. Um, and there's also this, like, not a B story, but there's an other part of the story where there's this doctor, the psychiatrist, who's treating him uh, and knows that he has different personalities. And you come to see that, like, some of the personalities are nervous about the other personalities and they're they're you know they're they're emailing the doctor but he's another personality the, one of the safer ones is seeing the doctor i thought it was all really well done um i thought james mcfoy was just awesome the first of all he's a british dude i think or he's scottish 
He's, you know, he's a, you know, UK kind of guy. One of those, he's got those accents. You know what I'm talking about? Um, and in this movie, he pulls off a few different accents, one of which I seem to really have a great Philly accent. I don't know a lot about the Philly accent, but there's certain words that he says, and I, and it's, and I say, okay, that's a Philly accent right there, and he nails it. Um, he does almost two versions of it because he has the, the, the art, the fashion guy, and he has the, the like real rigid OCD guy. Uh, then he has, you see the real guy at one point, and it all kind of leads up to this, um, this 20, maybe a uh, 24th personality. Um, and the, you know, there's three women, three young women. Uh, they're trying to get away. Obviously, there's one girl who's the 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 major star. Uh, she was played by someone I had no idea. Her name is Anya Taylor Joy, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but uh, she was really good. I'm sure we'll see her in other things. I'm sure I've already seen her in other things. I just don't know. Um, but she's kind of the 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 hero girl. Um, does she get away? They give her some of a backstory. We don't, you know, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to say too much, but I do highly recommend seeing this movie. Um, and, of course, we get the little M. Night um, uh, cameo, real small in it. And I, I, like seeing, I like seeing it. I like seeing him again. I'm happy that he's back to making these movies. When I say back to making these movies, look, um, I love Sixth Sense. I loved Unbreakable. Uh, I really dug Signs. Um, I feel like there's one I'm missing out of those three. I think like, oh, The Village. I, I kind of enjoyed The Village. I thought The Village was was, was okay. Um, and then I got to tell you, I never saw Lady in the Water. People really didn't like that movie. I never saw the, the, uh, the, the what is it, The Happening, I think, with the one where all the, all the plants fighting back. I think that, you know, people weren't digging that movie. Then he did, um, did he do the Will Smith movie, like, After Earth? And, that, and he was doing bigger movies that weren't his. Like, he did the Avatar, the last Airbender movie, and people did not really dig that. And you thought, oh, no, you know, what is, what is going on? All of a sudden, you know, you'd see, like, maybe his names were not quite on the level. It used to be, like, an M. Night Shyamalan movie, The Village. And then, like, um, The Visit came out, and, you know, it said uh, directed by, written and directed by him, but he wasn't, it wasn't the marquee name um, that it once was, and I kind of think it should be again. I think now, if he continues, and it seems like he's going to continue, I'm not going to, I don't want to say too much, giving away the cool ending, but he will, if he continues on this uh, trajectory... I'm going to be very pleased, very happy. The movie was almost was basically almost two hours long, um, but even though it was creepy, even though it was um, you know the points where it was scary or a little violent, it, nothing too much. Actually, it was it was only rated PG thirteen, so you know um, it wasn't anything um, too extreme for you know like a teenager to see. Um, I, I what I like to do now is I'm going to go myself, and I should have done this before I watched the, the before I started recording. But I just finished, and I wanted to start recording right away. Um, I, I put a lot of thought into these. I got now I go into IMDb and I start looking at all the trivia and reading all these different things um, because there's nothing in it that I'm that can spoil me now. I don't like to read anything beforehand. But I love reading stuff afterwards and then saying, oh, and this and that. And maybe, I don't know if like, I feel like one one like building, I was like, was that in another M. Night Shyamalan movie? I don't want to say what it was. Um, it might, but not that it was related to this movie in any way. But, you know, he likes to make Philly one of his characters. Philly is, Philadelphia is a character in M. Night Shyamalan movies. And it was, again, in this for certain little things. Um, but, again... I got, I got nothing else to say. Look, I've, I've already talked almost nine minutes. And that's what you're going to get with FNE Movie Month, Fans Not Experts Movie Month. You're not going to get a lot of talking. You're going to get uh, these little episodes because it's easier to talk into a phone than it is to type on a computer sometimes. When I type and I write, I used to, I did that the first two years. I feel like I, I want to talk too much, like I'm a movie critic. And I'm not a movie critic. I'm just a movie fan. Hell, I only really watch movies once a year, and, th and this is it. Boom. Day one is done. I have one down. 
I have 29 to go, and I have about 10 or 15 movies that I know I'm going to see. So pretty psyched. Um, again, how do you follow me? How do you uh, keep in touch with moi? Well, on Instagram, I'm starting to actually post these pictures uh, that I use for each blog post. And uh, the name is just Mikey Coria, C-O-R-R-E-I-A. Um, on Twitter, it's uh, at Geek Mentality or at Fans Not Experts. On Facebook, it's at Fans Not Experts. And of course, the easiest thing is just go to the website, fansnotexperts.com. I crave you. I crave you. your traffic. I crave it um, because I, I have so such little traffic um, that it, it, anytime someone actually goes to the site, it's shocking and surprising. I really do this for me. I know not many people listen to this podcast. I know not many people go to the website. Um, but since I was a kid, I was the kid with the camera on my shoulder making movies, sometimes just for me to watch back and laugh at, sometimes to show my friends and my family. But I, I've, I'm, I'm, look, I'm going to say it. I'm 40 years old now, okay? You'd think I'd grow up. You'd think I'd mature. Um, but I, uh, I, you know, when it's just my wife and I and our dog, I don't have to be a parent to any kid. I can still kind of be a kid myself. And I have these days off, so I'm going to use that to have fun and be a kid. So I'm posting this podcast now because, hey, I got nothing else to do. Maybe I'll do a little exercising. See, this is the point of the show where you probably stop listening because I'm rambling. Uh, but I digress. Tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow, movie day, movie month, day number two. Um, if, I, if, I, if I were to give a hint, I would say um, adamantium, which gives everything away if you're in the know. Uh, and that's it. Enjoy it. This was split day one of 30, 29 to go. Fansnotexperts.com. And this is my theme song. This is my podcast. I made it. Geek Mentality is what I named it. And I think you should listen and subscribe. Cause I'm kind of funny and awesome. I think that I'm worth your time. And I'm kind of handsome. My mom says, please listen and please subscribe. At least listen to this episode. Fans not experts.